Welcome to Unreal Gems. In this video we are going to take a look at another animation asset, the Blend Space 1D, which allows us to blend animations. So the next types of nodes that we are going to take a look at are the Blend Space nodes. First we are going to take a look at the 1D use case because it is simpler to understand, so the Blend Space 1D. Blend spaces in general allow us to mix animations based on variables. In this case, since it is 1D, it's going to allow us to mix animations depending only on one variable. So in this case, an example would be a character that is going to switch from idle, run and walk depending on the speed variable. It could also be, for example, limping depending on the life that the character has left. So that would be another use case. So now that we know what Blender Spaces 1D are, let's go ahead and create one. Right click on the content browser, go to animation. You are not going to find it there because you only find the Blender Space, which is 2D. You need to go to legacy and there you will find Blender Space 1D, which is what we want. Click on it and it will tell you to select a skeleton. We need my auto character skeleton. And now in the content browser, the new Blender Space 1D will appear. Let's go ahead and name it. We are going to use as always BS1D underscore and the name of the Blender Space, which in this case is going to be run walk. Once we have named the blend space we can go ahead and double click on it and the blend space editor will open up this is going to be the editor that we are going to use to modify the blend space here we will drop the animations that are going to form the blend space on the left we have the details of the blend space so for example here we can change the horizontal axis properties name in this case, we are going to call speed because it's going to depend on the speed of the character and we can set the minimum and maximum values. In this case, 500 units of speed are going to be the maximum. Here we can see the blend space with the axis name on the bottom. The left is going to be the minimum and the right number is going to be the maximum. So in this case, 0 and 500. Now we are going to choose an idle animation that is going to be zero speed, so a static character. But I don't like the fact that now when you drop the animations, they go all over the place. So I'm activating a snap to grid. So the animations are snapped to the grid divisions. In this case, it goes to zero. You can right click to get all of the options of a single point in the blend space if you want to input manually the values and so on and so forth but just know that activating a snap to grid I like it better and it is easier in my opinion you can get more grid divisions if they are not enough for you in this case I have divided it in six parts and right now I think I have enough granularity to do what I want to do so let's go ahead and look for the walking animation and let's substitute the idle because right now I have the male idle position and I want the female one so let's go ahead and drop it as you can see it was snapped in place and now let's go for the female walk animation we're going to drop it in the middle which is going to be 250 that coincides with the walking speed of the default character the default character movement speed in unreal so it is going to walk when we don't press shift so here you can interpolate between points with a uh, control so if you hold control you can move the mouse all over the place and it is going to let you preview the blend space as you can see everything is switching smoothly between animations let's add the run forward animation and now let's try to interpolate until 500 units there you can see it runs smoothly changes smoothly between idle walk and run so Everything is looking great, but I want you to know a couple more tricks 
that may come in handy. So there we have a smoothing time parameter. You can set it to, for example, 0 0.5 seconds or something like that, and it will smooth the transitions between different animations. You can set the smoothing type, so the different functions that are used to smooth the transitions. And if you are seeing like glitches or things changing too quickly, this is really handy. Next, we have wrap input, which allows us to go through the edges to the other side. So in this case, if I activate it, instead of being clamped like it is by default, I can go through 500 and go to zero and vice versa. Here it makes no sense, so I will deactivate it. But maybe if you have rotation, for example, it can be correct to activate wrap input and let it go from 360 to zero or 180 to zero. So just bear that in mind that it may be necessary. Let's go ahead and save it. And now let's go ahead and test it out in the level because this time we cannot just drag and drop it in the level. We will need an animation blueprint and it will run inside it. So let's go ahead and open up the animation blueprint that we had created before. I've already pre-created a state machine and a state where we can use or blend the space. So double click on that state and inside it, we will just drag and drop the blend the space. With that, we can connect the output pose to the output animation pose. And now we just need to pass on the ground speed to our blend the space. And with that, we are going to be able to vary the animation based on that ground speed, which is read in the event graph. And it is going to be the speed of the character. Once we have that working, we can compile and we will see the preview of the blend space. If we use the anim preview editor and choose a different ground speed, you are going to see the character change animation. So for example, if we set 500, it is going to start running. And if we set 250, it's going to walk. The transitions are smooth. And even if you want to, you can switch the ground speed easily just uh, dragging the mouse over the ground speed. So you can see there that it is working perfectly and everything is running smoothly. So once we have everything set, we can go ahead and test this out in the level. So let's go ahead and go to our Citrin character. Let's switch the animation blueprint to the one that we have created. So C3 test again. And right now, if we press play, you are going to see Citrine running and walking, depending on if we press shift or not. So you can see here walking, running, and if we stop, we get the idle. You can see how easy it is to create nice looking locomotion using blended spaces in Unreal Engine. Well, so that's it for this video. As you can see, this is an essential animation tool for mixing animations in our characters, like for example, idling, walking, or running. Remember, if this video has been helpful to you, go ahead, like and subscribe, and we'll see each other in the next video. Huge shout out and thanks to all my Patreons. As you know, making these videos takes a ton of time and effort because I research in depth all of the topics that I cover. So if you want me to keep making awesome stuff, consider supporting me on Patreon.